So this is the third and final part. Um, I just want to take some time and answer some questions. Some people have asked me which backpack do I like best, this one or my Tad Gear Lightspeed. And to be honest, I love them both. I really like both of his backpacks. But if I had to choose, I would probably, if I had to like get rid of one and stick with one, it would probably be the 3-day assault pack only because it can carry more. Yeah, that's my little dog. <laughs> Sorry. But only because it can carry more. Not because I think this is a lesser backpack or anything. I love the features in this backpack. But it's only 22 liters compared to the 30 something, 30 I think, that this backpack can carry. And I actually think this can carry more. My sister has a similar backpack that is supposed to be 30 liters, but it doesn't carry anywhere near as much as this one can. And this one can carry much heavier loads. I've carried up to 37 pounds with it. Um, why would I do that? Why would I carry 37 pounds? Because we were going on a, on a trip where I knew there would be no water. It was dead winter. It would be cold. And I wanted to prepare food, so I needed to bring extra water. Just, just to have extra water and just to have uh, water for cooking. So I was carrying a lot of weight. Uh, so, and I can, I'm pretty sure I can probably do uh, um, campaign trips with this backpack, no problem. And I'm actually planning on testing to see if I can actually do three days, uh, three days uh, and two nights with this backpack. I will give it a go. So, not because I hate this backpack, because I really lo love it. During during summer, I will probably use this backpack 100% of the time. During spring and fall, it probably uh, it will get more used than this one. But during winter, uh, and when I'm going on family trips and probably on longer trips, this backpack gets used a hell of a lot more. And the other questions that I've had are: Is this backpack better than the the Camelback tricep? And to be honest. To put it simply, is no, it's not better. Uh, it's just different, uh, and it has it serves a different purpose. Now, just to put in perspective, this backpack cost me three hundred sixty dollars with the padded extra belt, plus sixteen dollars for shipping. I'm not going to include the cost of returning the the the, the yoke because that doesn't really count. But just that was three hundred sixty dollars, so it's three hundred seventy six dollars. Um, that's more than the, what, that's more than twice what my, what my tricep cost me. When I bought my tricep, it cost me $180, free shipping, no tax. $180, that's more, that's, two, that's twice, I mean, okay, one of these backpacks costs as much as two Camelback triceps, because you cannot find this backpack on sale, you can only buy it from um, Mr. Ranch. Do I think it's worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. If you have the money, stick with it. But if money's tight, go with the tricep. Don't worry about it. The tricep is just as good as this backpack. So the the, the, the needs are different. Uh, if you like mesh pockets, maybe maybe you can save up for this one. But if you don't care about the mesh pockets, just stick to the tricep. Uh, the belts are just as comfortable. They can carry about the same amount of weight. Um, the the only the biggest difference I mean the quality of manufacturing is is great on both it really is but the biggest difference for me I mean um, for between two backpacks was that this one is made in the United States Camelback I've tried to find out where theirs is made and I've heard people say that it's made in the United States too but uh, for what I've been able to figure it out they are actually put together overseas and all the pieces that are sewn are like sewn all together here in the United States. So it's not really made in the United States. Uh, this one is American made uh, with American made materials, all high quality stuff. And I mean, it's a great backpack, but it's expensive. I'm not going to kid you about it. Um, the only reason I also uh, convinced my wife to allow me to purchase this is because I went through all the trouble to find a better backpack than the tricep just to not find it. And I was like, well, I might as well upgrade to the original backpack. And after using it, it's not really an upgrade. It's just this backpack has things that I that I like better than on the tricep. But that does not mean that the tricep was a bad a bad backpack. If anything, it's a far better deal because for one hundred eighty dollars, you get the same uh, quality of manufacturing. 
you get the same amazing harness and, and, and suspension system and you get uh, Camelback's lifetime warranty as well um, probably it won't be as personal as Mr. Ranch because Mr. Ranch you can just call them and they will answer the phone in, almost, uh, throughout the day and they'll help you Camelback you probably can't do that but well, also with Camelback you get a 3 liter water bladder which is great and like I said $180 usually uh, I know they retail for like 260 but in reality you can probably find it for less a lot less so if you can't do that you know uh, if you're okay with just uh, if you're okay with Camelback's uh, oh that's my other dog with Camelback's design you know stick with it if you think that you would like this better with the, the, the Mr. Ranch uh, backpack you know, save up the money and go for it. I'll, I'll guarantee you probably won't regret it. Well, I can guarantee you, you won't regret it. You know, it's a great backpack. It has it has served me well. I've used it to climb uh, Mount Baldy twice. I've used it to climb, um, and Mount Baldy is a 10,000 foot high mountain, and it was by no means easy, and I wasn't carrying anything uh, lightweight. This backpack has done great for me. Uh, it's done a really good, uh, it, it, has, it has not given me any uh, sore shoulders, or a sore back, it has withstood, withstood a lot of you know, damage, a lot of impact. Uh, yesterday, actually coming back down from uh, from the mountain, I trip on my back. Uh, I mean, I trip and landed on my back, hitting a rock with my back. The backpack too took the hit, took the blunt force, just straight against with all my 200 pounds uh, behind it. And there's nothing wrong, no ribs, no anything. The buckles didn't crack was perfectly fine and I was fine because the backpack took the blunt of the force so like I said this is a great design it's a great backpack but only if you think you will need it only if you think you will use it because if you're looking for a lightweight backpack this is not it if you're looking for a civilian backpack with more friendly colors this is not it if heck maybe maybe for a mountaineers backpack this is not it I'm not a soldier I'm not in the military so I can't really tell you how well this will work for the military uh, for military uh, duty, but it has a reputation for doing great on that on the on that aspect. But for me, I'm an I'm an, uh, adventurer. I'm a hiker. Uh, I'm, I'm a climber. Uh, and what's cool, I'm what's cool. I'm been going all over the places, all over uh, all over the mountains here in Southern California. It has done great for me. You know, like I said, I've done about 50 miles with it. It's done wonderfully. Anyway, I'll probably be uh, keep keeping an eye on the uh, review on the backpack you know, on my own. If I change my mind, I'll let you guys know. If I don't, I'll probably do an updated video later just to show you guys where I've taken the backpack. But anyway, hope this answers some of your questions, guys. Because I know it's difficult to buy backpacks, especially ones that are so expensive made in the USA and all this stuff. Well, hope you guys have a good day.